I'm here with corresponding author Liz Clutton from the University of Portsmouth, the UK, and her co-authors Tiago Rapolio, a junior researcher at the University of Lisbon, and Gaston Aljuraldi, a postdoc at the National University of Cordoba in Argentina. They recently published an article in Journal of Experimental Biology on invasive species and the effects of marine temperature increases. What does it mean for you as authors to be able to publish open access through our Read and Publish initiative? So we're really grateful to the General Experimental Biology um, for accepting our paper and because of the read and publish agreement in place, we didn't have to pay any publishing fees, um, which was just absolutely fantastic because it enabled us to obviously, um, you know, tick the box to a kind of go for open access early on um, and it enabled us to be able to get our, our work out in the Journal of Experimental Biology. The open access it just means everything so it's open for everyone either our peers uh, public uh, project stakeholders so it makes our our uh, our science uh, reach a broader level it's uh, well it's open and uh, accessible to everyone being able to publish open access uh, and for free is a really good achievement at least for me that uh, I work in a third world country and usually we are restricted to access uh, to many different journals and, and research. So that's really nice to, to be able to publish for free and open access to bring our research to everyone. And can you tell us the story behind your paper? So I met Gaston and Tiago uh, whilst attending a, a course in Sweden in 2014, which was to um, discuss climate change and marine evolution. We were really fortunate that we had come together, we bonded, we'd come up with a brilliant project idea, um, which was subsequently funded um, by the course organiser, and that allowed us to continue to meet up, um, kind of explore our experimental ideas. And we actually managed to get further, like further carry on funding um, to come back to Sweden in 2016 and conduct um, a larger scale experiment. Regarding our research, uh, we focus on the different aspects of climate change uh, that are of very concern. Um, one is invasive species and uh, global warming. And one of the facets of global warming will be the uh, increase uh, frequency in heat waves, in marine heat waves. So we look at the very early stage of, a, of an invasion in the native range of a species, how they behave to these uh, heat waves and try to see if the animals that are already under high physiological stress as in polluted environments are, able, are better able to cope with these uh, climate change scenarios and became finally uh, an invasive species. And actually we focus on a, an Assyrian species with, which is very well known as an invader outside of uh, the area that we were uh, studying. Well, we found that these animals are uh, more resilient or, or are better coping with this increase. So uh, this pose new insights on the um, uh, invasive ecology of these animals. It's a great opportunity to, to, to publish in, uh, in GEB because uh, the, the name of the journal just speaks by itself. Journal of Experimental Biology is basically uh, our work. So it's experimental research, experimental biology, and it's the basics. It is the basics that uh, provides uh, big findings for a better future. In our case, uh, to mitigate climate change uh, effects at uh, a worldwide level. Obviously, just thank you to everyone that's given us the opportunity to, to do this work and to get it this far, you know, and, and that goes right to the start of, you know, Sam DuPont and Piero who ran the course, funded us, and then obviously the KVA allowing us to come back and use all the resources and, and JAB for then accepting the paper because every point we've had to someone's had to give us an opportunity to keep going and and that's why five years on we're still sitting here really good friends <laughs> thank you so much for giving your time today because it really does mean a lot to us to be able to feature authors who have successfully published with the journals and been able to publish open access thank you